So welcome to this session where I discuss all the probability formulas which we have learned in this session. This is for class 12 maths and I am Simon Matthews. Probability of A union B is probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. What is probability of an event? Number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. If A and B are mutually exclusive, a intersection B is empty and if A and B are mutually exclusive, probability of A union B is probability of A plus probability of B because probability of A intersection B will be 0 since A intersection B is empty. Now A slash B implies A given that B has occurred. So probability of A given B is probability of A intersection B by probability of B. If A and B are independent, A and B are said to be independent events if the occurrence of A does not affect the occurrence of B. Now if A is any event with probability P, then odds in favor of A is P by 1 minus P, odds against A is 1 minus P by P. We need to remember this formula because sometimes you get problems asking odds in favor of an event or odds against an event. A and B are said to be exhaustive events if A union B equal to S, where S is the sample space. So A union B constitute the sample space. Now if E1, E2, EN are N mutually exclusive and exhaustive events associated with the sample space S, and A is any event associated with S, then probability of A is probability of E1 into probability of A given E1, plus probability of E2 into probability of A given E2 and you go on up to probability of En into probability of A given En. This is the total probability law. Based on this you have Bayes' theorem which says that if E1, E2, E3 are n mutually exclusive and exhaustive events associated with a random experiment and A is any event associated with the random experiment then probability of E1 given A is probability of E1 into probability of A given E1 by probability of E1 into probability of A given E1 plus probability of E2 into probability of A given E2 plus probability of E3 into probability of A given E3. A random variable is a variable whose values are determined by chance. So we have two types of variables. One of them is the random variable. Some of the probabilities of a random variable is 1. So if you add all the probabilities for a random variable, you get 1. Mean of a random variable is denoted by mu and mu is defined by summation x px. We also denote the mu, mean mu by expectation of x or ex. Variance of a random variable sigma squared is defined as summation pi xi squared minus mu squared, where mu is the mean. And you know that standard deviation is square root of variance. Now coming to binomial variables, a binomial trial is a trial in which n is finite and is defined before the experiment. Each trial has only two possible outcomes, success and failure. The result of any trial is independent of the result of other trials and the probability of success does not change from trial to trial. Very often students get confused between binomial variables and random variables. So here are some examples of binomial variables, tossing a fair coin 10 times and recording number of heads, tossing a biased coin 10 times and recording number of heads. So here the n is defined before the experiment, rolling two die four times and recording the number of times we get a total of five, or drawing a card 10 times and determining if it is a diamond, replacing the card after each trial. That means it is without, it is with replacement. So for a binomial distribution, if P denotes success and Q denotes failure, probability that X equal to R is given by NCR P raised to R Q raised to N minus R. So these are the term, this is a probability of a binomial variable where X equal to R. Now a binomial distribution is defined as Q plus P whole raised to N since the successive probabilities are the terms of the binomial expansion. If I expand Q plus P whole raise to N using binomial theorem, I will get these are the probabilities of each term. 
probability that x equal to 1 will be nc1 p raised to 1 q raised to n minus 1 and so on. Now coming to the mean and variance. For a binomial distribution, mean is NP, so it is easy to remember. Mean is NP and variance is NPQ. So again, this is easy to remember. So thank you and read these formulae and practice it every day.